In this video, we are going to explore two new feature additions to the modeling tool set in 3D Coat 2024. The first one is Edge Flow, and the second one is Equalize Edges. So to start, let's click on the Select button, and then make sure we are in Edges mode. In this first example, let's say I wanted to take this hexagon and make it cylindrical in shape. What I might want to do is add some additional edge rings. So to do that, I can use split rings. If I hold the shift key, I can have 3D coat snap it at the halfway point, 25% or 75% respectively. So I'll just continue doing that. All right. Now I want to go to the select mode, I'll zoom in. I want to scale my brush size down so I don't accidentally select too many edges. I can do that with my bracket keys, just like I would in Photoshop. To select an edge loop, all I have to do is double click an edge. And I'll do that to each one of these newly created edge loops. With that done, I can right click and choose edge flow. The default value is one, but as you can see in this case, that curvature may be a little bit high. So I can drag the slider here to around 0.7 and then hit okay. And we have a cylindrical shape now. Let me hit escape and when I use slide edges, holding the control key, I can slide an entire edge loop. Okay. I'll go back to the select tool or select mode. And what I want to do in this example is to show the equalize edges tool or commands. And I want to make this edge equal to this edge. So I'll just double click and then right click and choose edge ring. And now I can right click and choose equalize edges. And it's just that quick. All right, let me hit escape and then we'll look at another example. If I wanted to create some curvature in this object as well, I could quickly do that by double clicking to select the loops on the top, on the uh, inner and outer edges. And I could do that on the bottom as well. Yeah, I'll hide that and double click this one as well. And now let's right click and choose edge flow. We'll stick with the previous amount and I'll hit OK. Let me undo though, and I want to show that we can adjust that curvature not only outwardly but inwardly as well if we want. We can see the preview curve, and if I'm happy with it, I'll hit OK. I will undo once again. And uh, let's go with the value of uh, 1 and hit OK. Let's hit the Escape key and I will double click on this edge and I'll right click, then choose edge ring. Now I want to use equalize edges in order to make these edges uniform in length. To do that, I'll right click and choose equalize edges. And it's just that simple. I'll hit the escape key once again to drop the selection. In this last example, I want to show that the tool edge flow can not only add curvature to your mesh, but it can also equalize or average the edge length in the process. Allow me first to use the slide edges tool while holding the control key to slide this edge loop up. Now I'll go back to select, double click, right click, and then choose edge flow. One thing you might take note of is not only the curvature in the preview, but also the movement of the vertices themselves. This red dot indicates where the vertex will be repositioned. 3D Coat is averaging the distance between the neighboring vertices while simultaneously moving the vertex position to the midway point of the curve. I'll now click OK. And with that, we will conclude this overview of the Edge Flow tool and Equalize Edges in 3D Coat 2024. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.